I'm Jackie. And I'm Jacqueline. My moments with mom. All right, you guys. Today's video comes as a request. Yeah. For something we love. Something we do love. From our sweet flicker named Yuki. You guys, Yuki and her husband are so cute. And you know what? Come to think of it, I don't think Yuki ever mentioned her husband's name. You know what? I don't think so. So Yuki wants to know, you guys, she said that her and her husband have a hard time with their candles and she wanted to know if we would do a video on how like we keep our candles or how like we do our candles. So we're gonna show you guys today the tricks of how we keep our candles looking really good. And what I mean by that, you guys, is this. So these are a good example of, I, I just pulled three random Yankee candles to show you guys. So see how even, you guys, the candle is in here. It's pretty pretty even all the way around, okay? Yeah. And so this is, oh, you guys, that's a, oh. they, they probably will never bring this scent back again, you this guys. This is one of the best scents. Jelly donut. Yes. It smells so good. And it's raspberry. Long gone. They had brought it back and they probably won't bring it back again, but you never know. It smells I know. so good, you guys. Now this is blueberry. And again, you guys can see how even the wax is. See how even that is around it. We'll show you, we'll tell you the trick of how to get your candles like that. I didn't trim this candle. So I'll show you how we trim the wicks on right. the candles too. So there's another one. I'll show you a couple more. So another one, you guys, same thing. I don't have to take the lid off. You guys can probably see it good, but another one, you guys see how even, but this wick is. is cut already. Yeah, and I had cut this wick yes. down after it had burned. Now this one is, you know, you can't see through the glass, but you could see here, you guys, see how even? Now you guys, sure, sure, sometimes, We'll do a candle, and for whatever reason, you know, you'll have some wax up right. here. Like maybe. this one a little bit. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's not totally perfect. Right. But yeah. So what we do, you guys, is and see even this one. See, I didn't clean it this time. Right. So you guys could see how there's a little bit of black around here, and probably if I see if I wipe my finger on it, it's black. So what I usually do, you guys, is get a wet tissue paper or towel paper towel yeah. maybe sprayed with like a little spray anything and wipe it all around here to keep it clean just so you have a nice looking jar yes. right yeah. yeah but you guys but even better is to buy candle holders like this okay so here's one and then you just put your candle in here how oh, cute and it hides the whole thing and then what makes this nice is when it burns it looks so pretty you guys coming through the cutouts on yeah. the candle holder. I'll put this one in here. You can yeah. See. We have a few. This is so funny. So we got these super cheap years ago at Walmart, these candle holders. Yeah. And there's even little um, feet, little feet on there at the bottom, you guys. So these were almost like a black color. They were like a super dark, like, I guess like a bronze and I couldn't stand it. So Jerry took them outside and he spray painted them. So he did this one in turquoise for us and this one in gold. It's like a very dull gold. Though. Yeah, it's like Not a champagne. Yeah, and, but the can it looks so champagne. pretty, you guys, when it burns Shimmers. through here. And then this one was for our yeah. smaller candles. Um, and that one was red at one time. And then Jerry painted it see if it's that one brown. <laughs> then we didn't like it. Yeah, so see, so the smaller ones look good in there. And then we just had him paint that one orange recently. Yeah, so you know, if you don't have as pretty of a candle on the outside, right. that solves the problem. You can get a little thing to put it in. But the point of this video, um, hopefully, we can help you out, Yuki, with cutting your wicks and maybe some of other people watching, uh, you know, just maybe you want to know some candle tips. Yes, yes. So I would say mom is a pretty <laughs> professional <laughs> candle cutter and lighter. From way back when. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, we'll tell you a little bit about it. Yes. Yeah. The most important thing you need for a candle, you could use a scissor, but trust me, you, you will not be able to cut your wick evenly. And once it goes lower, you'll have a heck of a time trying to get your scissors down there. And, Cause you can't twist no, it. No, you can't angle no. it at all. Yeah. So you guys, you need a wick cutter that looks just like this, okay? You can get these basically anywhere, but Yankee Candle has the best ones. They do. Sometimes if you buy a cheap one, you guys, it doesn't cut the wick good. Like right. it, it, it kind of shreds it. Right. So you guys, you need a wick cutter. This is the downside. And then you just stick it in your candle and I go to a quarter of an inch, you guys, and I just snip it, and I always get rid of the wicks. I know I threw that in there, but it's just because we're sitting here and I don't have the trash can. So the reason, you guys, people get like a lot of soot around their candles, it's really black, or if you're burning your candle and you see smoke going up, mm -hmm. a lot of times it's because your wick is too long. Yeah. And never ever 
light a candle, you guys, again, a second time after you burn it without cutting the wick because yes. that's, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get smoke and you're gonna get a lot of like soot like in the inside of your glass. Right, and technically you're burning the burnt wick. Right. Also, so that's why you want to like get rid of that burnt wick too. Exactly. Yeah. And and another and you guys and the trick of getting your candles nice and even like this is you have to burn them long enough. So say you burn your candle and you only burn it for like an hour yeah. or two. More than likely you're gonna get just a small puddle and then if you blow it out and you do it again, it's gonna keep tunneling down. Right, it's so, gonna make a hole. Exactly. Which you don't want because then you can't burn all of your candle. Exactly. And you right. wanna get the most burn out of your candle. Right. So you guys, these Yankee candles last so long because I literally will light this to say I light this tomorrow. I'll let it go like the whole night, like four or five hours. I really will. And then when you look at the end of the night, you'll have this whole thing will be a puddle. Like you won't be able to see any candle, it'll be all liquid. And then that's what you want before you blow it out. Yeah. Right, and then you guys should get this nice um, even wax. Even wax. You guys, a lot of times, if you go get a cheap candle from somewhere, okay, so one day, you guys, I got this candle years ago. Right. And it was so cheap, it was shaking in the glass, first of all, because like it wasn't even stuck to the glass inside. Yeah. You guys, it didn't, it barely burned. It burned so uneven. It was so awful. And literally, if you turned the candle upside down when it when it oh, wasn't yeah. burning, the whole candle would have like fallen, fallen out. out of the glass. So yeah. try to invest in good quality candles. Yes. Some we like are Yankee, of course. Uh-huh. Yankee Candle. Right. Charmed Aroma has great candles. Yes, they and do. We've talked about them before. Uh, I'll link the video down below in case you missed it. They, that about them. Really, though, their candles also Very burn. Good. Very well for hours, and also um, the smells good. Yes. And they call it the throw. I never say it. Hey. I just say it smells. I know. Right? I say it yeah. smells good. <laughs> and um, and, and you, these, you get jewelry in those candles. Oh my gosh! I know. Guys buy one. Yes. Oh my gosh! The Charmed Aroma candles are so fun. You get jewelry in. If you don't know about them, again, link down below to the video. Yes. Then another one that's really good, which we discovered pretty recently, are from Target. Yep. And they're the Threshold brand. Right. Really good price. Um, smaller candles, of course. This one we showed you. Yes. Uh, this little white jar. Um, but yeah, those are super good. Yeah, I think, is that the 11 ounce? This is the 11 okay, ounce. Okay, so I yeah. think the 11 ounce is $5, you guys. Mm -hmm. I think there's a 22 ounce that's $10. Yeah. Now, the only thing I would say about um, the ones from um, Target Target is they don't probably smell as strong. Sure. Yeah, yeah. They, they're a little bit lighter in smell. And I do have another one, you guys, that actually did not burn as well as this one, mm -hmm. um, where I have like some wax like, on the side. So these probably maybe don't burn quite as well, but I still would recommend these. Yeah. yeah. But but again, you guys, just throw them in a holder and then you, hey. you really can't see through these. No, you can't really. Yeah. But yeah, for the clear ones anyway. Yeah. I will say though, sometimes you can leave it out if there's a cute label on it, yeah. like the Charmed Aroma ones. Yes. And it's funny. So I went to go grab this one. Yes. Because it was in the cabinet. So you guys, I have a little bit of candle left in this one. So it says Mickey Mouse on the front, right? But it has this beautiful gold and black label, you guys. Look how cute that is. And like so white cute. or silver. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm gonna do when it's gone, it's, it's basically, well, I probably, it's really it's almost gone. Like, yeah, almost it's basically gone. almost like not gone. even an inch left, um, but yeah. If you wanna keep something like this, right? A label because it's so darn cute, or a right? Jar. Yeah. Right, because you could put a tea light in here after and then still get the same effect, right? You know, with the cute, you know, outside. You could try freezing what's left of the candle, right? Because mm -hmm. sometimes there's always like a little bit of candle left at the bottom, and it should pop right out if you freeze it for a little while. Can't you know. guarantee. It's right. gonna, but it's not it 100%, should. Right. but most of the time that does work. So you right. can try that. Right, so if you do get a cute jar like yeah. that, you can keep it and then just put little tea lights in there. You guys, you can probably fit oh my gosh, like, like three, at least two. three tea lights, yeah. I bet you, at the bottom, you guys. And then just, yeah, and then they won't melt in there if you get a tea light. because it has yeah. a little plastic thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. One last thing, when you get down to about half an inch, then probably don't keep burning your candle because then you're gonna get the bottom's gonna get real hot depending on where you put it, right? You don't wanna damage if you have it setting out somewhere, right? Because then it's sure. going way down. So probably, you know, I usually discard um, ours or, you know, if you could 
take it to a recycled glass place. When it gets down to about half an inch, then I don't burn it. Yeah, like any longer. Yeah. Right. But if you get a holder, you guys, then it's it protects it pretty pretty well. I would say like so. on your surfaces. Right. It'll still get warm or hot, but you know, not as bad as but just better. the glass. So, yeah. Yeah. And hopefully these tips help some of you out there. Yeah. Maybe you didn't know, maybe you did know. Yeah. But thanks for watching anyway. Yeah, this was fun. And yeah, we love we love our candles. Oh my gosh, you guys. Makes the whole house smell delightful. Especially if you get like food ones, you guys, oh like this gosh. jelly donut. I know, what was this one? Oh, that's a new one Dad got me, you guys. Pumpkin this apple one. parfait. This one smells so good, you guys. So we love anything like the food flavors. Yep. Uh, I'm not crazy about berries, but the blueberry is different. It is different. Yeah. You know why? Because it's not like tart like some of the other berries are. But if you go to the store and you buy candles, you could ask them to cut the wicks for you and they'll start it off. But then when... I know. Then when you get home, <laughs> you're like, ah. you still need this baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is like seriously my, one of my favorite things. My wick cutter. <laughs> it's like you're a superhero and like you have your different like tool belt of like, you know, things that you use. Right. And like that's one of them. That's one of, and my leaf blower. Your leaf blower, <laughs> wick cutter, hand sanitizer, and a sponge. And my comb. And your <laughs> comb. <laughs> All right, so Yuki, I hope this was helpful. Full. Yeah. And I hope you, you guys can get your candles looking good. Yeah, I hope so. Thank yeah. you for the suggestion for the video. It was fun. We're happy to do it. I don't think we would have thought to do it. I know. And we love our we love our candles. I know. We, as we love our candles. You guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new and give this video a thumbs up, you guys. And we'll see you in our next video. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.